Hey Rachel, welcome to Natick, Massachusetts. My name's Rich Joyce, and today I'm gonna show you Joyce's Bar and Grill. I always intended to have my garage be a space to hang out, and in the beginning I thought it was gonna be a couple rubber mats on the floor, maybe a workbench, throw a TV in the corner. But one day, I got a deal on some laminate flooring, and it changed everything. Let me tell you two things about laminate flooring. Don't be afraid to do the job and rent the right equipment. I went to my local home improvement store. I rented a laminate floor cutter instead of using a razor knife. And what would have taken me maybe three weekends ended up taking a day, if that. Not a lot of people know this, but you can rent all the best tools that you need from your local home improvement store. Like, put these white panels on the wall. All you have to do is put glue on the back, tack them on, it's a piece of cake. You can get it in any home improvement store. If you have a good contrast going with your floor and your walls, it makes a small space look a lot bigger. After I got done putting the paneling up, I put barn board on top of it. I put barn board across the whole garage. And if I used a hammer and nail, it would have taken days upon days. I rented another tool, a nail gun. Not only fun to use, but gets the job done quick. There was zero electricity in this place, so I hired an electrician to wire this place up. I needed to have a big screen TV, I needed to have more lights, and I definitely needed to have some power to throw a refrigerator in. And of course, we have a real bar. As I'm doing this project, word starts to grow. And I had a neighbor come by, so she asked me if I wanted a pinball machine. And of course, the answer to that is always yes. I had a lot of friends give me a lot of cool stuff to put on the walls. Something else that makes Joyce's pretty awesome and I'm pretty proud of is the ceiling fan that I installed. It did have some help from an electrician friend of mine, I won't lie, but here was the process. Because I had existing electricity inside yet, I could just tap off of that electricity, run a little pull of a piece of conduit up into the ceiling, wire it up through that. I used a hole saw, cut a hole in the ceiling here. And the beauty part of it is, when I was done, it actually worked. All right, Rachel, I guess it's time for goodbye, but anytime you're in Massachusetts, you're always welcome at Joyce's because this is a place, well, I think any place, everybody knows your name. Can you leave the back, the, uh, the garage door open still? Is it too cold there? It's pretty chilly here. I put a screen on the garage door, which was very simple. You got Velcro on the side, you just tape that up there. I drilled a little bit in there to make sure it wouldn't fall down. Then there's the opposite side of Velcro, and as you can see, it's super simple to put up, and it's very cheap. It's under $100 to get one in any home improvement store. So I'd advise anybody with a garage, grab yourself a screen. It makes a world of difference.